y'all ready for this? This is DJ Wheat from the Championship Gaming Series online team and happy to bring you a report and recap on two matches that took place here on June 20th for the 2008 North America regular season. In two non-televised matches, we saw Dallas versus New York and we saw Carolina versus San Francisco. The matches were phenomenal and great and we're going to break them down for you right here starting with New York versus Dallas. Our first game was FIFA, where we saw Venom's Barmoa taking on 3D's Wizzicor. Wizzicor's looked great all season, and tonight was no exception. Barmoa went down to Wizzicor, two goals to one, although Barmoa did get that one point for Dallas, which obviously was very welcome and needed. But Wizzicor came out on top. After two quick goals, he takes the win, two to one. In our second game between Dallas and New York, we saw 3D take on Venom in Forza Motorsport 2. It was a phenomenal race with Dallas leading most of the way until Comeback Dan once again innovates in the racing for Forza Motorsport 2 and makes a huge, huge strategic decision to take the win for his team. It was a hard fought battle, but Darkstorm and Comeback Dan clenched it in the final turns of the race. That gave them a 5-2 win over the Dallas Venom and made the overall score 3-7 in favor of New York. Our third game was Dead or Live Female, where Phoenix took on Cools Villa in an epic matchup between Dallas and New York. Phoenix was expected to do very well in this matchup, just coming off of a strong and well-deserved victory over Vanessa in the televised matches. However, Cools Villa came to play. Cools Villa using Christy and Phoenix using Genfu. Cools Villa was ready for the matchup and her play looked remarkable. In an unprecedented turn of events, Cools Villa took the match one, two, three, four, five rounds in a row to beat Phoenix five to zero, making the overall score three to 12 in favor of New York and giving them a very healthy lead in the matchup. The fourth game was Counter-Strike Source where the Dallas Venom took on 3D New York and a very dominant 3D New York team was expected to perform well in this matchup. For the Dallas Venom, this was an opportunity for them to capitalize on the strong points that Counter-Strike can give your team. The map was played on DE Nuke and Venom came out of the gate rocking and rolling ultimately giving them the 11 to seven win and making the overall score a much, much tighter matchup. Total score, 14 to 19, still in favor of New York with one game left to go. Although New York had a five point lead going into the final game, Dead or Live Mail, Venom, well, they had a little secret in their pocket. That secret was Master. Given a 5-0 win in favor of Master, Dallas could clinch the match, but he was going up against the pinch hitter Dave Chappelle from 3D New York. Chappelle already this season has lost a match but won it for his team, and he was in another opportunity to do just that. Master needed a 5-0, and many expected that he could do that versus Chappelle. But Chappelle came out fighting in round number one and took down Master in a very fantastic round. Also won another one, but Master ultimately won the matchup 5-2. to two. And although New York did receive the win, Master remains undefeated in the entire Dead or Alive male talent pool. The overall score was 21-19, and New York comes out once again in a very narrow win over their opponents, the Dallas Venom. Our second matchup saw the Carolina Core taking on the San Francisco Optics and both of these teams are in the run for the playoffs so a victory here would set them one step closer to securing that spot. The first game between Carolina and San Francisco was Forza 2, where Phantom and General E Live took on Sacramento and Mixima. While most of the race was back and forth, General E Live spent the entire time in the fourth place position, while Phantom fought it out for Core in second and first place. But after a few key crashes and some nice racing by Phantom, he pulled it out for the Carolina Core and won 4 to 3 in game number one, Forza 2. Counter-Strike Source was the second game, and as most of you know, there's a lot of points to be won in Counter-Strike Source, and Optics was expected to come in ready to play. They were energized, they were definitely revived, However, they still went down to the Carolina Core. In an intense match on Inferno, we saw great sides played on both the T and the CT by both teams. But Core ultimately came out on top in a close one, 10 to eight over the Optics. That made the overall score for the team match 14 to 11 in favor of Core. 
A very interesting game between our two FIFA players on the Carolina Core and the San Francisco Optics. Of course, Anomaly for the Core and Sturmy for the Optics. Now, Sturmy has been performing fantastically this entire season, and Anomaly actually has had some very good games himself. However, Anomaly has been cursed with one thing, the ability to win during shootouts. And that is exactly what happened here today. In a 0-0 regulation score, we went to shootouts. Sturmy was able to block two of Anomaly's shootouts shots while Anomaly was only able to block one. That made the score 2-1 to one in favor of Sturmy and that made the overall score 15-13 to 13, still in favor of the Carolina Core. Starting with Dead or Live Mail, where Offbeat Ninja from the Carolina Core went up against a very strong Ninja CW from the San Francisco Optics. Ninja CW has basically been a blossoming flower this entire season and proof was in the pudding here tonight where Ninja CW took down Offbeat Ninja 5-1. His play was so impressive between fantastic combos, unrelentless countering, and great throws, Ninja CW ultimately devastated the offbeat Ninja and came out as the top Ninja in this matchup. Five to one was a score that even Dr. Dog didn't even expect. While he did say that Ninja CW would win, he did not expect him to win that great. With the score 16 to 18 in favor of the San Francisco Optics, Cat Hunter was banking on her star player Vanessa to come in despite her first loss this season and win the match for the San Francisco Optics. Of course, anyone expected a 5-1, 5-2, 5-3 from Vanessa, but Mystic came here with skills and came here to play. Vanessa needed to win four rounds against Mystic to ultimately take the match for the San Francisco Optics. But Mystic made it look very grim for Vanessa when she was up four to one early in the match. With the last round on the line and Mystic seeing that the win was in her sights, Vanessa knew that it was time to step up and play. She took the next four consecutive rounds, not only clinching the victory for herself, but ultimately the victory for the San Francisco Optics, making it 20 to 23 in favor of San Francisco and giving Core another loss this season. Vanessa won 5-4 over Mystic in a very impressive game and probably the best game we saw all day. 5-4, she took the victory not only for herself but also for her team, making the overall score 23-20 over the Carolina Core and giving the Core another loss this season. San Francisco certainly needed that and based off of their play here today, I think that it was much deserved. Congratulations to New York and San Francisco on their wins. I'm DJ Wheat from the Championship Gaming Series Online and check back to thecgs.com for more video and editorial updates on the 2008 North America regular season.